Hello, I'm Bill Donnelly from Sapphire Technology and today I want to introduce you to a whole new range of graphics cards from Sapphire. The Sapphire Nitro series has been developed specially for gamers and there's a whole range of cards which suit different levels of gaming. The Sapphire Nitro series will include the Sapphire Nitro R7370, the Sapphire Nitro R9380 and the Sapphire R9390. So the whole Sapphire Nitro family benefits from our award-winning cooling solutions and we've put a whole load of our high-end components in there which I'll discuss in a bit more detail. The Sapphire Nitro series benefits from an evolution of our award-winning Dual X and Tri X cooling technologies. When we did a survey, what gamers told us they wanted most was cards to run cool but also to be reliable. And what we've done with the Sapphire Nitro series is we've incorporated some of the Sapphire exclusive components from our high-end models into the whole range. So these models all feature Sapphire Black Diamond chokes for more reliable um, VRMs and also solid capacitors for higher reliability. So let's take a closer look at the Sapphire Nitro R9390. At the top of the range, this card features an evolution of our Tri-X cooler, complete with multiple heat pipes and the industry-leading 10mm heat pipe right down the centre. Uh, this car is really aimed at the enthusiast gamer, so we've got a new port layout to support multiple monitors. Let's take a closer look. In addition to a DVI port, we've got three display ports and an HDMI port which means you can support multiple monitors if you want to run an Ifinity setup, for example. Of course, all of this family is based on the latest Graphics Core Next architecture from AMD. This card is equipped with 8 gig of the latest DDR5 memory, and it's clocked at a new higher speed of 6 gigahertz. Uh, this one has 2,560 stream processors, and the core clocks are running at 1,010 megahertz delivering great performance for the latest games. So that's the top end model. Let's take a look at one of the others. This card is the Sapphire Nitro 380. And as you can see, it's got an evolution of our Dual X cooler with much larger 10 centimeter fans. And each of those has dual ball bearing races for increased reliability. Another thing that gamers told us in our survey was that they wanted the cars to be more rigid. Normally, you'd increase rigidity of a car by adding a back plate, but of course that also adds extra cost. So what we've done is we've redesigned the shroud so that it actually fixes directly to the PCB and provides added rigidity that way. With 1,792 stream processors running at just under a gigahertz and 4 gig of RAM, which is twice the spec of the previous generation, this card gives great performance for high detail 1080p gaming or even at 1440 and above. And again, we give users a choice of monitor configurations. Uh, this time we've got two DVI ports one display port and HDMI. So now let's take a look at the Sapphire Nitro R7 uh, Like its bigger brother, this one also has an evolution of our Dual X cooling technology and it has the special shroud designed to fix to the PCB for added rigidity. The Sapphire Nitro R7 370 has 1024 stream processors, but like its bigger brother, it's got a full 4 gig of DDR5 RAM, so giving best performance in its class. Uh, and the port configuration is pretty much the same as before with two DVIs, one HDMI and display port for those upgrading to a later generation of monitors. I mentioned that they're all based on the latest Graphics Core Next architecture from AMD, so they're all ready for DirectX 12 and the latest operating systems. The higher models also support new features like AMD FreeSync and even Liquid VR. My name is Bill Donnelly, thank you for watching.